Solution at the Nelson Mandela University Professor Ntsikelelo Breakfast. A very often, good afternoon to you, Prof, and thank you very much for your time. Now, there was a key message that was uh, given out by the Nkata Freedom Party um, in its um, manifesto launch today, and it's put South Africans first, and then, of course, to preserve the township economies. But this might be met with some form of resistance, uh, as in the case of the Rotunda, um, um, and is it um, attainable? Um, thank you very much for having me. I think the manifesto as it stands is all well and good. I think the manifesto is well structured, well packaged, you know, also pitched at the right level. I think it was not pitched, you know, over the heads of the um, audience. Uh, so I think it's a good manifesto. However, I've identified two gaps <laughs> Um, you know, I'm an academic, I have to be critical. Mm. Um, the, the first gap is the fact that there was a, an omission of what is happening on the international front. For instance, I mean, there's a war that is underway between uh, Ukraine and Russia, and that war has led to an increase of fuel, has led to an increase of uh, interest rates has impacted the country negatively on uh, inflation because Russia is one of the large oil uh, uh, producers. Uh, there's also another war that is underway between Israel and Palestine, uh, which is you know, something that has been uh, debated on a global scale, but it didn't say anything about that. But maybe you know, our understanding of political realities is a uh, as a result of what is reported to us by the media, because I think the production of public discourse is politically engineered. You know, I think the media maybe needs to educate the public more 